Hola, you amazing artist. If I sound weird, it's because I have an ear thing going on and my equilibrium is a little bit thrown off and I could kind of hear my own voice just reverberating through my head. I got a question this morning that I wanted to address and also make an announcement. Because of my ear thing, I canceled the live stream yesterday and I was thinking of doing it on Friday, but uh, I'm not sure yet. It all depends on what's going on with this thing. I got a question from Mayans Art. Hey Rafi, I found out about your channel last week and really like it. I've been painting all my life and now at 37, I feel I would like to start making it a, a living. I was wondering what is the best media to start posting myself on? It seems that Instagram is full of artists who mostly want to get inspiration or learn art. Where do the art buyers social? Where do they scroll? I don't know. Is investing time on Instagram a good decision, or should I search where the art buyers are? Okay, so my my thing is this 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 is very familiar to me because this is pretty much where I spent the first few years of uh, trying to figure out this art career thing. So I had this idea that maybe there was a place where people were buying art and. I was just missing out on it and I wasn't sure like which direction to head or, or how to approach uh, where I put my art because I wanted to get the most bang for my buck. The thing about that is that there is no like art collectors, buyers place other than maybe an art festival, uh, an art show, a gallery. People go to art shows for several different reasons. Either they're on a date and they just want to go check out some art or they want to fill in their time or they're there to buy art or they're there to see a specific artist that they follow or know or, or something. There's a plethora of reasons why people will visit these physical places and it's not very different on the internet. First off, my problem in the beginning was that I thought that I was like on, in this competition with the other artists. So if there was already a lot of artists in a place, it was like, oh, that's already it's saturated and, and it's just people looking for ideas and blah, blah, blah. But the fact of the matter is no matter where you go, whether or not you're doing an art show or you're posting your stuff on social media, there's going to be other artists there that find inspiration in the work. In fact, a lot of artists go to art shows and stuff like that, and they get inspired by the work. So it's it's not about that. I, I would definitely, I needed to, for me, myself, I needed to get that whole idea of competition out of my head or the idea of a place being oversaturated by artists. Because think about it this way. When artists congregate in a place, right, where do you think the art buyers are going to go to buy art? The reason this question is perfectly time is because, uh, you know, in writing this marketing book, I want to make sure that I'm coming from a perspective of somebody who's been doing this for a while, which is where I'm at, and somebody who just started. And I want to make sure that I, that I answer those questions. When it comes to the internet and it comes to social media, you gotta, you gotta, Get out of that mindset of uh, it, it, that, that it's just simply a marketing tool because uh, it really makes things a lot more difficult and you find yourself asking these questions. All those platforms are like just showing your art. You got to realize the people that go to Etsy, they're maybe shopping around for inspiration. They're shopping around uh, to because they want to buy something specific. They're shopping around because an artist that they follow or somebody that makes something that they really like is there. That's where they could find them. And so, like, it's not very much different from uh, going to a festival. They, they each have their different benefits. There is also something very powerful about standing there in front of the work and it being tangible and you being able to see it. To answer your question, where do the art buyers social? I don't know that there's really a place online where they don't hang out or they do hang out. Another thing that was important for me to remember was that art buyers, it's not like art buyers are this different breed of human. Art buyers are everyone. Art buyers are the artist that are looking at your art and finding inspiration. Art buyers are your neighbor next door. Art buyers are everyone and they socialize everywhere. 
Some art buyers don't even know that they're art buyers yet until they see your work. These kind of questions really make things a lot more complicated for you. And I understand where they're coming from because, like, you're getting started. It's it's scary. This, What we do as artists is so awesome and so freaking terrifying and so not easy. It's It's not easy, especially when it comes to the money aspect of it. Because you start asking a lot of questions like this because... You want to make sure that you're going to set yourself up for success. And unfortunately, I know that this is very disappointing uh, because I, I basically I don't have an answer for you. I don't. The only thing I could tell you is that my biggest thing is, and it's in my other book, it's going to be in this book, focus on creating art. Put yourself out there uh, by any means that you are capable of putting yourself out there within reason and persist through the bullshit, whether it is crap from other people, uh, naysayers and bullshit and haters and whatever it is, or crap in here that's uh, telling you that you're stupid, you don't know enough, I, I, there, where do people hang out, I'm, I'm missing the boat, like whatever it is that you're telling yourself, that, that's, you know, that's not, it's just... You just got to persist. You just got to keep putting yourself out there. I had changed my mindset from like, let me put stuff here because then I'll be able to sell. Let me put stuff here. Let me do this show because then I'll be able to sell. I had to change my mindset to every single thing that I do, whether it is doing a festival, whether it is putting my artwork up online or putting myself online or whatever it is that I do, it's all just putting myself out there. That's what it's about. It's about letting the world know that I exist. If Instagram is easy for you to put your stuff on there and uh, share it on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, wherever, th that gives the opportunity of more people to find you. This question is kind of based on like, where do I find them? And they are everywhere. They are everywhere. So you're better off having them find you. And I know that a lot of people preach niche marketing and stuff like that. And if you do anything that is that could be considered niche, you know, like if you do uh, pet portraits or you do stuff like that, then yeah, there are certain places that you could target. You know, it, it's not going to guarantee that they're going to buy. But for example, with that, there's uh, pet festivals and uh, dog parks and pet companies that you could do some kind of networking with. So like there are things where you can target, but if you do a lot more, I would target those things, but also just keep putting yourself out there wherever it is that you can, because how else are people going to find you? Your question is, is investing time on Instagram a good decision? Yeah. Honestly, I barely sell anything out of social media, but there are so many people that started following me that within a few years I've had, you know, I recognize names of people that have bought stuff from me. It is just another means to put yourself out there. It is the, like, that's it. Even when you're doing an art festival, that is just another means of putting yourself out there, of letting people out in the world know that you and your art exist. And that's the way that I look at it. And that has been the most beneficial way for me to look at it. So mine's are. That was a great question. I'm sorry I don't have, you know, like a location or something. It just doesn't, you know, I, 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 I'm always very careful to not look at other human beings as you're this or you're that. I'm always very careful to remind myself that like, you know, who buys art? People. They're just people and they hang out in places and they have different interests and they believe different things. It just so happens that maybe they'll run across your art and maybe they don't even pay attention to art, but they're they're maybe they're going through something or something about your art speaks to them at that particular moment in time in their life and they want to buy it. And then from that moment they become a collector of your art because you develop that relationship with them. You see that in my videos. It's it's not about just selling the art. It's about making a connection with people. So any platform that gives you the opportunity to make a connection with people, uh, it, it's social media. 
that's what you're there for. You're there to connect with people and let them know this is what I do. This is who I am. Look at my art. Okay, so my ears started to ring, so I think I got a little a little too excited there. So everybody has a different approach on how they approach their social media. Some people uh, love it. Some people hate it. Some people love hate it. Uh, but basically, just make it really easy for yourself. And I'm curious to know how you guys uh, deal with that question. If you if you have any kind of uh, response in your wisdom and knowledge because man you guys you guys are really freaking awesome and i know that a lot of you guys have been doing this for a while and you know your perspective matters and i'd love to hear what that is just put that in the comment section below and also just to give you guys a heads up i'm still working on the book obviously this month and next month so my posting is going to be very sporadic. Uh, I don't know that I'll be doing a lot of videos like this. I'm going to take a look and see how it is that I'm feeling uh, Friday. And if I'm feeling good on Friday, then I will uh, post a link for the live stream because we'd love to be able to chat with you and answer some of your questions. And if not, uh, then I will not post a link. And again, thank you so much for watching, you guys. You guys are absolutely freaking amazing. I totally adore you. And if you like this and you want to watch more like this, just click right over here to subscribe. And that's it. Say goodbye, Clee. Goodbye. Good day. <laughs> Adios. Total